Aloha everyone, what's really good my dudes? Welcome to another RuneScape news coverage video. For this video we'll be talking about RuneScape's art style and art direction. So without any further ado, let's jump right into the video. Let's go! Yeah, this is the illest. What you talking about, Willis? Alright guys, I'm sure we've all noticed, but RuneScape as of recently, in the past year or so, has taken a different art style. Often people would describe it as simpler, bulkier, and I hear this a lot, cartoony. I would largely agree with these descriptions, to be honest. But that said, I feel like it's important to put this out there, but I have personally always really liked cartoony art style games. I grew up on Nintendo games, like a lot of us have, like your Mario's, your Kirby's, Zelda, and Pokemon. Even in the late 90s to the early 2000s, I was playing a lot of cartoony PlayStation games. Things like Crash Bandicoot, Spyro, Ratchet and Clank, Sly Cooper, Jack and Daxter. All these games captivated me when I was growing up. So the cartoony art style in and of itself is something I always really enjoyed, even well into my adult years. So having said that, I'm curious, what do you guys think of Jagex adopting something closer to those kinds of art styles? I personally do not mind it, but I do understand where people are coming from if they do not like it at all. And if you completely disagree with my opinion on the cartoony art style, you're more than welcome to express it in the comments below. I never want anybody with a dissenting opinion to feel like they can't voice it here. So please do so. That said, if you do not like the current art style, I'd love to hear why exactly. Is it because you don't feel like it is runescapey? Or it's deviating too far from what you remember growing up when playing RuneScape? Is it because of the inconsistencies? Where one part of the game world will feel very cartoony and one will not have been updated in a very long time and still have the old art styles, so it's jarring? Or are you somebody who simply doesn't like the cartoony art style in and of itself, regardless of whether it's RuneScape or any game for that matter? I'd love to hear what you feel about it. That said, we did have Mod Warden talk about this in a live stream the other week, and I just wanted to discuss what this could potentially mean going forward. So he did mention that they have hired a brand new art director that just started up at Jagex to help tackle this issue, because they do recognize it is an issue that players have with the game. First off, it's definitely not consistent, as I said earlier, it's very far from it in terms of the overall art style of the whole game worlds, but they do say that there's a lot of areas that need tackling and they take a very long time to update, so whatever they plan on doing, it's something that is long term to say the least. They said that they are testing and looking at a lot of different types of art styles, and they're still looking and trying to find their stride. With this new art director, he's going to check out what RuneScape already has in terms of the newer stuff as well as what's been established for a long time in terms of the art styles, and then decide what direction that they should go forward with. That's not to say that they're fumbling and they're trying to find out what art style they really need and they're just throwing whatever at the wall and seeing what sticks. I'm not saying that, but I am saying that they are being somewhat experimental with how they choose to represent the game visually. Now, I don't know what this art director is going to end up deciding to do, so this is just me speaking right now, but ideally what I would think would be the best is to have some kind of middle ground between the new cartoony style and the older fantastical or medieval style that RuneScape has been known for in the past. The reason why I feel like that's the best route is because there are a lot of recent areas, especially with archaeology and whatnot, that do adopt a lot of the newer art style while not being too cartoonish. And I think a lot of people would agree that some of these new areas are very visually stunning. You know, there's a lot to like in some of the recent stuff that Jagus has come out with and even some of the not so recent. Between archaeology Anachronia, Elite Dungeons, and The Lost Grove, chances are there's something in that list that you find appealing aesthetically. And if not, hey, that's okay. But I do think that most people would agree that at least one or two of those areas does look amazing. So hopefully they can find some kind of compromise between the newer art style and the past and stick to it and have a completely cohesive looking game all throughout. As I said, that's probably something that's going to be very long term because it takes a long time to graphically update the entire game. There's a whole lot of areas that need work. So we'll see exactly when that ends up coming to fruition as time goes on. So in a similar vein, during this live stream, Mod Warden also mentioned that he does want to take a close look at the player avatar. 
He does recognize that this comes with some big challenges, and it's no easy task to do a rework or a remodel or whatever he has envisioned for the player character. They're going to have to go in and look at all the equipable items, all the overrides, etc. Decide what is worth upgrading to the new model, what might be worth throwing out if that might be the case, and any other minor tweaks and adjustments that may come to rise with a change like this. So we'll see. I know this is something that many players have wanted for a very, very long time to have a rework to the player model. And it doesn't seem like any work has been done at this current stage, but it is something that Mod Warden is very interested in looking at so I would imagine that it is definitely something that will at some points be a priority for Jagex to tackle. When that is it's anyone's guess but I'll definitely let you know here on the channel. And honestly as a compromise I think there's not a lot that you really need to change for the player character and still make it work if you want to go a more simple route. For example if you just really upgrade the faces and maybe the hands I think that would go a long way to bringing the models up to date. Obviously the female rig needs a lot more work than the male so there are issues there and it may turn out that an update like this can't be done without a complete overall of the player rig that is possible so i'm really excited to see where they plan on taking the progress with this aspect of runescape do keep in mind that they have to worry about this all while still delivering content to us as players so it's a lot of juggling that needs to be done with a large workload that needs to be completed anyways i'm gonna wrap up the video there let me know about anything that was discussed in this video your opinions on anything that we talked about here today if you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you're not subscribed yet and you want to stay up to date on all things RuneScape related, then hit that subscribe button. Guys, I appreciate you watching. I am out. Aloha.